for the polygenic diseases, the environment factors or lifestyle really matters. So you can see your gene and you can uh, just <coughs> adjust your caloric uh, intakes. So nowadays, there is a lot of uh, uh, DTC, meaning direct to consumer type genetic tests, gene tests. And I received one of them. This was uh, one, uh, uh, one company in Europe. Nowadays, we have this kind of thing in also in Japan. But what we do is uh, we go to their uh, homepage. And we, we say that I want to participate in that. And then they will send us a, a small package, which you can collect your bukka like that. And you just put it in and send it out with a couple of documents that you have to sign. That's a weaver. Uh, they, they, they want you to, uh, <clears throat> they want a sign that you approve them to do, uh, a, analyze your genes. Okay? And this is after uh, a month or so, there will be a letter from them, and they'll tell you that uh, the, uh, the result is ready. <clears throat> and this is one of the results I, I got. I got an account, and it says that, welcome Masaki Muramatsu, that's me. And if you click here, there is a, about 60 different uh, conditions of diabetes, hypertension, to COPD, uh, things like that, and they will calculate the uh, risk for myself. And also there is the ancestry results, and if you click there, it tells you what your ancestry looks like. Well, actually, as for the mitochondrial genes, you can follow the maternal side, and if you see the Y, uh, <clears throat> y chromosomes, you can uh, go through the uh, paternal side. Well, anyway, <clears throat> this uh, kind of thing was here, and I'll just show you what it looks like for my diabetic profile. It's a top secret. Okay, <clears throat> it comes out like this, and diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and uh, <clears throat> So this is the average one risk, and your type is 0.25, meaning that I was resistant to becoming a diabetes. So <clears throat> this is called the relative risk, and this is the absolute risk. As for the uh, East Asian <clears throat> ancestry, the lifetime risk for getting type 2 diabetes is like 25%. This is a little bit exaggerated, I think. But if my, in my genotype, in my gene pattern, uh, it's like 6.2%, meaning that I'm quite uh, resistant to type 2 diabetes. So how did they uh, calculate that? You can click and find out that uh, they, asked, they examined one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of my genes, diabetic genes. And in my case, it was like this. So, and they calculated and uh, found out that it was like this. <clears throat> they also calculated the gene that I told you, the CD caravan, which is, uh, which I used for my research. So, <clears throat> Gene tests for common diseases is becoming quite uh, popular in Japan now. Uh, <clears throat> by analyzing multiple SNPs, disease risk information can be conveyed. And uh, since not all genetic factors are con con covered at this moment, the results should be conveyed with very caution. And this can uh, use to motivate, to improve the lifestyle, but not to deteriorate. The, like, I know that, now I know that my risk is 25%. Uh, uh, it's not good for me to eat too much.
you have to use it as uh, a motivation to improve. And to do this, to, work, to make this work, it needs uh, genome research and proper counseling. Well, we uh, also made a, this kind of um, genetic risk score. And in this case, we, uh, through literature search, we checked which of the genes are Japanese related, uh, related to Japanese diabetes versus which are related to Caucasians. As you can see here, the top 10 genes, the, if you see this line, this white one it means that they are common. And the red one is uh, specific for Japanese, and the blue ones are specific for the Caucasians. It looks like that the top 10 genes are mostly uh, common with each other, uh, but the, uh, the ranking is a, is a little bit different. But as for the 10th to 30th, there becomes some of the, shall we say, ethnic specific genes that is related to diabetes. CFM, caring for well-being.